Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at the Fesco on Mandela Highway. And this is actually the busiest gas station in Jamaica. As you can see, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and you can see how busy it is. And not only is it the busiest, it's also the largest gas station in Jamaica. This gas station has over 24 pumps. And as you can see, most of them are in operation right now. So it's built off. You access this high this gas station from Mandela Highway, which is the busiest road in Jamaica. So naturally, it's only the gas station would be so busy because if you have the road with the most traffic, then you build a large gas station and it will definitely. You can see how busy it is. Now, one drawback to the gas station is right here where you enter. It's too narrow. They shouldn't have put the parking lot on the left. They should have allowed cars to drive. So you basically have a bottleneck at the front because the cars have to come in. So, and then when the pumps are backed up, you find like what these cars are doing now, they're coming on the other side. So they should have made more, left more space at the front so that more, there isn't a bottleneck of the cars coming in. And it was actually a subscriber who pointed it out. So thanks for that advice. All right, so that's the busiest gas station in Jamaica. And now this is Mandela Highway that we're going back on. And that gas station actually has a Tasty Patties location and a food court or a convenience store, basically. Not a food court, a convenience store. So it was nicely done and it's a very successful um, gas station all right and their price is reasonable because we use ultra low sulfur we're in an suv and it's it's reasonable it's not the cheapest but it's not the most expensive either all right so we're on mandela highway now and basically from mandela you would access the pj patterson highway which takes you on the south coast of jamaica and you can also enter Portmore and you can also enter Spanish Town and outside of Kingston which is the capital of Jamaica Portmore and Spanish Town have the largest populations and Portmore is actually going to become a parish soon because the population is so large and it's growing so the lane we're in now would be to access the PJ Patterson Highway or east west leg or highway 2000 so we're going to go back over in the other lane because we're not going on the highway today here you can see the signs on the left giving you the directions to access the highway and if you notice how far those light poles are from where the road ends that's because they're left room for this road to be expanded so it can actually take a lot more lanes. Okay, so that's on the left, that's the road to access the PJ Patterson Highway. Okay, that bridge straight ahead, that's where the PJ Patterson Highway connects back to Mandela. So if you're coming in the opposite, or if you're driving into Kingston, that's the bridge that connects you back to the highway. So as we go under the bridge, and you turn left that will take us to Portmore and this is probably there are two main ways to get to Portmore two main roads this road which is free to use but there's also a toll road and you take the Portmore Expressway and then you pay a toll and then you basically go over the Causeway Bridge and enter Portmore but because it's a toll road this road has a lot more traffic so that's the that you turn left there to go into Portmore. Not sure what those cars were doing. They could have easily merged, but okay. Now coming up on the right is where you would access the North South Highway or the Edward Siaga Highway. So 
So the right lane up here now is where you would access the highway. Okay, at this point Mandela Highway becomes two lanes and it will take us into Spanish Town. Okay, on the left is a white marl area. It's a um, manufacturing area, a lot of warehouses, manufacturing plants. Like on the left you have Wisinko and then straight ahead you have Lasco. And they both manufacture and distribute goods in Jamaica. Lasco actually has a very large warehouse. It was recently um, renovated or expanded. Okay, we're now entering the central village area. We're still on Mandela Highway. So basically we're on the outskirts of Spanish town now, the actual town itself, we're in the parish of St. Catherine. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.